Hello, 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 and welcome to the show. My name is Aaron, and today we're going to be playing The Legend of Zelda, The Twilight Princess. I'm very excited to play this game. Anyway, I'm very excited to play The Legend of Zelda. I've played Ocarina of Time, I've played The Wind Waker, I've played a little bit of, um, what, Link's Awakening? I have to return back to that game, I have to play some more of that and, and get through as much of it as I can. But yeah, we're, we're going to be playing The Twilight Princess. I hear that this game's kind of dark, I guess? I don't know if they mean it like dark in, as in terms of colour, or if it's, you know, in terms of the brightness of the game, or if it's like a more dreary sort of topic in terms of the Zelda sort of games, I don't know. Ocarina of Time and um, Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask is a very dark game. Okay, we're going to be playing a brand new game, because I've never played this game before. This is a, a, a blind playthrough. Now, I'm just going to call myself Link. My name isn't Link, my name's Aaron, double A, R O N, but we'll be Link in this case, because I don't know, I think it works better. It's, it's Link's story, it's not Aaron's story, or, or, you know, Derek's story, or anything like that. This is Link's story. And you know, similarly, <laughs> that's a real word, similarly, uh, opponent. It's going to be a opponent because a opponent is a opponent, and there's no ifs or buts about it. <laughs> I'm also the sort of person who doesn't really name their Pokemon in in, in Pokemon games. You know, if I catch a Rattatat, that goddamn Pokemon is a Rattatat for the rest of its life. <laughs> it doesn't have a name. Okay, here we go. A cutscene. Oh, that's lovely. I like cutscenes. Tell me. Do you ever feel a strange sadness as dusk falls? They say it's the only time when our world intersects with theirs. The only time we can feel the lingering regrets of spirits who have left our world. That is why loneliness always pervades the hour of twilight. But enough talk of sadness, I have a favor to ask of you, Link. I was supposed to deliver something to the Hi to the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. Yes, it was a task set to me by the mayor, but would you go in my stead? <laughs> you lazy person. You have never been to Hyrule, right? I've been to Hyrule, guys. In the kingdom of Hyrule, there is a great castle, and around it is Castle Town, a community far bigger than our little village. And far bigger than Hyrule is the rest of the world. Wait, and far bigger than Hyrule is the rest of the world the gods created. I don't know if I follow. You should look upon it all with your own eyes. You betcha. I will do exactly that. It is getting late. We should head back to the village. I will talk to the mayor about this matter. Oh, so he's gonna tell the mayor. It's like, hey, I know you told me to do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Said Link. I don't know if I'm his kid or he's my mentor. I don't know who this guy is. Wait, did his name pop up? I don't know if his name popped up. He's just some stranger to me. It's like, hey, kid. The mayor asked me to go run a run a task. Do you want to go do it for me? It, I mean, not really asking me, it's just like, you're going to go do this job for me now. I was told to do it, but you're going to do this now. You've never been before, right? Nah, you'll be alright, mate. You'll be alright. You can go do it. Go on, Cobber. <laughs> That's what he's doing. Hey, at least the gate's secure. Now we know that everything's safe. Do you think they're walking and talking, or are they just walking in silence? Let us start our adventure and, and, and deliver a message to to Hyrule Castle. Or deliver something. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> hey there, youngin. No way, he's, he hasn't changed his voice. Well, I mean, clearly he did, but I didn't mean to change his voice. He'd, he'd still be like, hey there, youngin. I'm not very good at keeping up with appearances when it comes to voices. So bear with me. Someone's gonna go talk to my horse. 
<gasps> Someone's goddamn kidnapped my horse! Hey, Link! Hey. Someone stole your horse! <laughs> hey, Link! You there? Hey, you mind helping me herd the goats? They ain't listening to me lately. No, alright, I guess so. I guess that's a thing that I can do. It's really your job, but I suppose I can I can do it now. Hey, where's the pona? I guess that was stolen. A pona was stolen. She, he, I can't remember if a pona is a female or a male. You know, I don't know if it's important. It's probably not. Hey. Come on now, hurry up and bring a pona with you. Alright, man. Alright. Bear, bear with me. You know what? I'm ready. I'm ready. If anything wants to have a go at me. Oh, there was a bit of lag there. I'm I'm ready to attack them. Take that tree. Nobody likes your tree. <laughs> okay. Well there's the gate. Oh there, there's a pona. There you are, buddy. What a lovely scene. Lovely scene with lovely music. Stay away from my horse! They'll, they'll goddamn bite your hand off. Rawr, rawr, rawr. That's what that's what my horse is like. Oh, hi, Link! Hi there, whoever you are. I washed the pony for you! Without asking, mind you. You... You didn't really go, oh, hey, Link. You mind if I... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna nip down and I'm just gonna take your pony. Looks a bit messy at the moment. I'm just gonna take care of her, make sure everything is A-OK. -okay. You're fine with that, right? But no. No, instead you're like, come on, Epona, let's go and get out of here before Link figures out that I've, t you know, taken you. Anyway, I washed Epona for you. <laughs> right, I see that you have. And he started to smile, he's like, oh, that's what you were doing. I thought, I thought for sure I lost my horse. I thought I had no more horse anymore. I'm sure I did a double negative there. <laughs> okay, look. Thank you. Epona is a girl too, so you have to treat her nice like what Epona There we go! There's our answer. Epona is a girl. Okay, alright. Alright, Epona. I'm very sorry for never asking <laughs> or bothering to know. Okay. Oh, but listen, Link. Could you do something for me? Yeah, why not? You kidnapped my horse. I'd do anything for you. Can you use a piece of grass to play that song for me? You know, the one that the pony likes. I have a captive audience. Alright. Alright. If that's what the audience wants, we'll, we'll, we'll grab it from over here. I'll grab this one. Pick it up. Blow it. Whoa! Slow down. Slow down there, pony. Let's get on. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. Nothing's gonna stop us now. Me and you, Epona. It's, it's me and you till the end, Epona. Nothing's gonna get in our way. Okay, let's go... Where did he take off to? I guess he just... He just assumed that we'd be able to do... <laughs> we'll be able to grab our horse back from whoever. He, he just went back to the farm. This is not the farm. We're not in Kansas anymore. Ordon Village. I feel like that's how it has to be pronounced, right? How else could you pronounce it? Hey, look! It's the guy who we were hanging out with and he made me go, go on this delivery job for him. He's being lazy. He, he, throwing, his, throwing his sword around. Swinging it all about. Alright, opponent, let's... I'm just gonna jump off for now. We need to do a bit of exploring to talk to these people. Is this... Are we talking to all three of them? Now, if it isn't young Link, are you going to close down the ranch for the day? Maybe? Is that my job? I just closed the shop myself. Good for you. I'm sure you know all about the mischievous monkeys that have been coming into the village lately. Those things worry me a bit. 
I've been a lock up tight here. I couldn't stand to have any more goods stolen. I can't trust that good for nothing husband to do anything right. Come on, Dad. You can't catch a silly little monkey. Oh, oh well, no, no, I can't. <laughs> Oh, listen to us, Babylon. I don't mean to keep you. All right, off to work with you. Oh, I could do three different voices, but I was a bit worried if we had to wheel back to um, someone that I had to remember how to do that voice. And I think I was pretty close. You know, I think I was pretty close to getting the old lady's voice back. Um, what do you think? What do you think? Can we steal these people's pots? It's locked. It's never stopped me before. Well, I mean, I guess it has. Sarah's sundries. One-stop shopping. All right. Well, Sarah, enjoy your sundries. Can I grab... No, can't grab that. What's this? Fardo's shop house. Fardo, Fardo's house. Real, it, it'd be Fardo, right? Not Fado? If it was Fado, it'd be F-A-D-D-O, I assume. So I'm going to call him Fardo. And it's locked. Can't go that way, Epona. They don't want us there. Mare house, mare's house and ranch, all on water wheel and the wooden spirit spring. Well, I can't do anything about that, Link. Can we pick up this chicken? You're goddamn right we can. I wonder if we can get out of here, chicken. Nobody wants you. Anyway, whose house is this? Jaggle and Pergy, and Tallow and Mallow. Maybe it's Talo and Malo. So many different names. Is it locked? Oh, is anyone home? Is anyone home? I want to steal your things. I mean, I want to hang out with y'all. That's it. That's all. Maybe there's someone up here. There was in one of the previous games. There was like someone up on the uh, the top of the village. Interesting. Okay. Can we do anything from up here? No, not that I can see. What's the point of this? Oh. What? 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 What is this? What's happening? There's a bird. Is this the owl? Is this the know-it-all owl? He's all like, oh, oh, it is the know-it-all owl. Or is it? No, it's not the know-it-all owl. Okay, owl, I'm going to need you to do something very important for me. Extremely important. I need you to... Attack the weather vane. Do it. Or the wind, wind vane? I don't know what you'd call it. Attack it! Good job! Good job you showed that weather vane, wind vane, who's boss, whatever you want to call it. What is the point of that bird? I mean, yeah, it'll be explained to us at some point, I assume. I mean, I, I have to assume that they're not just going to introduce this bird element. It's like, by the way, whenever you want, I mean, not whenever you want, mind you, but whenever you find grass like this, oh, damn, call up a bird. Just because, just because, and you can make them go places, but they don't do anything. All right, let's talk to these people. <clears throat> oh, hi, Link. I'm making you a fishing rod, you know. All I have to do is paint it, so get ready for fishing. What do you have to say for yourself? Good evening, Link. This is a lovely sunset, is it not? It is kind of you to spend time with my husband, you know. It gives me time for myself. Oh, you do have to go put the livestock to bed now. I sure do. I sure do. And what, what does he do? Hey. Oh, great time and Link. Uh, there was something I had forgotten to tell you. My son, Colin, is making a fishing rod. Yeah, yeah, I, I just spoke to the, to the young lad. He's like, oh, I'm going to get you a fishing rod. I just need to paint it. So the two of you can go play together. He should finish it today, so you can come get it at the house tomorrow. Thank you. I know the name of your son. I don't know the name of you. Maybe it has been, you know, told to me. But why would you expect me to pay attention? Can we pick up any fish? No. That's 
that officially a negative. That's a, a, get it? I did, I did clever wordplay there. Let's go see the map. What kind of representative? Oh, it's not even the mayor's house. It's these guys' house. Never mind. Never mind. I'm sorry. Hold on. That's their name. What was it? Russell, Uli, and Colin. I feel like I feel like it was Russell or Russell. I feel like that's his name. This is the mayor. Is this the mayor's house? Mayor Bo's house. Okay, good. Are you Mayor Bo? Hmm, you're going to help out Fado or not, Link. He headed up to the ranch already. You better move along and take Capona with you. You better not tell me what to do. Or I'll take care of you. I wonder if this guy is the mayor. He is outside the mayor's house. I mean, you would assume that uh, henceforth he would be known as the mayor. <laughs> if you... If you uh, stand outside the mayor's house, um, that makes you the mayor. It, it gives you mayor privileges. It means that you can say to people, if they come up and they go, hey, is the mayor in? You can go, yes, I am in. That's what you can do. That's how it works. Oh, yep. We have some triumphant music and some obvious ranch business happening here. Old on ranch. Sorry to get you over here in such a hurry, Link. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I came here as fast as I could. <laughs> These guys have been awful skittish lately. They won't listen to a word I say. Sorry to ask, bud, but that's... But how's about you and the pony herd them into the barn real quick? Is this my job? Or am I just doing this for you? I mean, how do you do your job usually? We ain't got much time, so you think you can do it for me? Yeah, I guess so. I'll give it a, I'll give it a shot. Much obliged there, bud. Okay then. Go on and herd all these little scamps into the barn for me. Yeah. Get into the goddamn barn, you goddamn goats. Do what I tell you to do. Look, this kind of works. Okay, so we got a couple of goats in. Nope. Don't want to do it like this, although we can probably round them up like this. There we go. Look, I should have been I should have been a herder back. <laughs> back when I was a child. I should have been a herder when I was a child back in the day. No. Um, just in my usual job. I should I should be a herder is what I'm saying. Come on, buddy. Get over here. Alright, we'll get you guys in. Where is everyone else? So, get you. Come on. Why are you going that way? Keep going. Keep going, guys. Why are you going that way? Okay, you're the last one. Get in. Get in. Get in. Haha. That's it. No, it isn't. There's one more over here. Okay, I got it. 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh look, he's doing it himself. That's the way to go. Get it? That's the way to go. Ah, ha ha. Link, Apollo, much obliged to both of y'all. <laughs> this guy's accent is wavering. <clears throat> I can cover everything tomorrow without having to trouble you, so just sit back and relax, bud. I'll do just that. Oh, but how about today? Want to practice with the fences? Just wait a spell, but I'll go get them fences set up for you. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, oh sorry that took so long. Okay then, you'll ride all you want. Y'all get tired of round, just jump the gate and head back into the village, okay, bud? I'm just gonna get into the village now. I'm just, yeah, look at that. I know how to do this. Very similar to the previous games, you know, it's, it's a very simple sort of thing to do. Not a problem, not a problem, not a problem at all. Not an issue. You got damn right I want to save. Oh, look at that. The sun's going down, or is it going... No, this is a new day. It's a new day. 
Another day, another dollar. Another rupee. Who are they looking at? Hey, wake! Wait, no, wait, this is more childlike. Hey, wake up, Link! It's morning already! And? What do they want from me? Every day, something new. Hey, look, this is the first day I ever get to be my house. This is this is Link's first day inside this house. What are we looking at? My word. They're not leaving me alone. That's a shame. That's a shame. Fine. I don't need them. Okay, let's go down. Drop down. Oh, so we will be able to hurt ourselves if we try to drop down too quickly is is the uh, message that I'm getting. Just like in the previous games. <laughs> I feel like as I play this game, I'll probably, um, you know, compare it to the other Zelda games quite a fair bit. Let's go outside. That's an action shot. That's action shot of us walking outside. Very cool. Very, very awesome. Now, is this going to hurt us if we just go, oh, no, no, not at all. <clears throat> oh, Link, did you hear? They're selling a slingshot at the store right now. A slingshot. I wonder how powerful it is. I need, I must try it. Tello, if you and Mallow want it so badly, just buy it at my parents' shop. Did you see any rupees in my hand? I can't afford that thing. Come on, Beth. Can't you just loan it to us for a while? <laughs> you know I'd get in trouble for that. <laughs> if you want it, save up uh, your allowances or something. But our allowances are terrible. Oh, I wish I was born into a family with a slingshot instead of one with a water wheel. Hi, Link. You have the day off work today, right? So I finished the fishing rod I was making. Link, I figured I'd give it to you first thing in the morning, but my dad said, you just wait until Link comes to get it. So I didn't bring it to you. Your dad is a jerk. He's no good. Okay, opponent, it's you, it's you, me. No, yep, I get it, I get it. No, stop. Wait, wait, are you saying I can't take a pona? Oh, you're saying I can't take a pona. Why don't you let a pona take the day off too? Why don't you mind your own business, small child? Did you ever think of that? Huh? Huh? Did that thought ever cross your mind? No, it didn't. Because you're just a small child. Okay, we'll go in here. We'll see if we can buy a, um, a slingshot. We've been picking up money. You know, we haven't been too remiss in our... In our money picking up ways it's not been amazing i've been trying to get all the uh, times that we could get money but we have nine it's probably gonna be what 20 maybe 10 hopefully five. Oh. Oh. oh my it's young link welcome my dear you you didn't happen to see my little cat out there, did you? He ate the fish we were going to have for supper last night and I gave him a good scolding, but then he went and hasn't returned. I'm so fraught with worry for him. I've exhausted myself. Oh, I've got to find your stupid cat. Why? Why would this happen to me? Alright. Let's see if we can find this cat. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hey, you, kid. Did you see a cat? Are you throwing a rock at a cat? Huh? Well, hey, Link. Got the day off from work today. Not me. The wife's hassling me. Today's restocking day at the store, see? Look, see that? Up in the tree? You can get a better view by tilting up and then using that to look around. Just by the way, I'm thinking of knocking down that nest of autumn bees. Our cat hasn't come home since yesterday, so the wife's in a bad mood. At the very least, I need to bring something home to her. 
Alright. That's a nice, um... That's a nice beehive. Fado's house. It's locked. He doesn't trust me. You'd think that in a, in a village like this, no one would have to, um... Oh, no! What'd you do that for? Well, that's what you get. Are they... Are they going back? Okay. Did you learn your lesson? They don't hold back with the singing, do they? I guess rocks won't work. Yeah, I guess they won't. I guess you learned your lesson. Next time, maybe you will be more careful. <laughs> um. Yo, Link, yo, up here. I want to talk to you. Press A while holding L so we can chat. I see you, man. Oh. Hey there, you go. Over here. Yeah, your voice carries well as usual. Maybe you can teach my tykes that you gotta press A while they're targeting to talk to people from a distance. They don't get it. <laughs> and that's why you always leave a note. So listen, why don't you climb up those vines there, Link? Alright, I'll do exactly that. I've already done this, my friend. I've already done this. Yo, there you are! Check this out! It's, you know Sarah at the general store? Well, this is another cat over there. Yeah, I suppose it is. He's just been sitting there next to my house having a staring contest with the creek. You don't suppose he's thinking he's gonna catch a fish, do you? <laughs> a cat can't catch no fish. What's the cat thinking? Anyway, that's not what I was meaning to tell you about. I want you to take a look at something. See that rock growing there on the edge of that rock? Yeah, man, I've seen it, I've grabbed it, I've blown it. Haven't I seen you whistling with that stuff? I figured it was pretty rare to see it grow in the place like that, so I thought I'd let you know. I bet you could hop across these rocks with just a quick little whoop, uh, couldn't you? I've done that, man. You've seen me blowing on the reeds. You've got to know that I did that. you got to know it, man. you got to know this. you got to know this. It, it, can't be, it can't be too weird for you to know this. we got to teach him a lesson. we we gotta, we got to teach this guy with the awesome voice a lesson. We're gonna throw the bird at him, and, and then he's gonna be like, Oh, no, this is outrageous, I can't believe it. Maybe we can attack the cat. Hey, look at that. I reckon that's something that we have to attack. We have a couple of options here. First thing is first. And away we go. <laughs> Good job, bird. Now we're gonna attack the cat. We'll see what happens when we attack a cat. Uh, we're coming in for landing on uh, <laughs> runway 726. <laughs> I was trying to remember the word for runway, so it took me a while to um, get to it. You know, I, I got to it in the end, and that, that means that my joke landed, just like the bird. Aha! Rawr, rawr, rawr. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. I think you should have done a better job there, bird. I gotta say, I'm a little bit disappointed that you didn't do a better job. We're gonna try one more thing. We're gonna try throwing the bird at that jumping thing that's over in the uh, the distance. I don't know if you saw it. I certainly saw it. Um, so I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, okay, and... Oh, this is a monkey! These are those mischievous monkeys. Oh, good job, bird. Excellent work! 